or epilis is derived from the word epilio, which simply means to lay upon. And isn't that what the night terrors, the night hags do? People wake up and they have this being laying on their chest doing what? Sucking their energy, sucking their breath, suffocating them. They wake up and they cannot even breathe when one of these spirits are even in the room. If this was just a one-time occurrence in the book of Acts, then we really couldn't build upon it too much. But this is literally from Genesis to Revelation. These nightmare, shade, specter, shadehe spirits that operate in a realm that is known in the Bible as the valley of the shadow of death. This is a realm and a dimension that shares the earth with us. And it is believed by all cultures that when the sun goes down, these spirits come out. The way all spirits and all people work or supposed to work is that you can identify them by their name. So the epilis or filio to lay upon lets you know exactly what this spirit does. It comes and lays upon the chest of an individual and pulls their breath. It's believed that when the sun goes down, these beings travel from some type of portal that's beyond the sun and get access to individuals on the earth. And many people in the ancient world had amulets and whistles and horns and things like that, such as a shofar, where they could summon or call upon the spirit with a particular sound. And just as you can call upon a good spirit or the spirit of God, you can also call upon evil spirits with a similar spiritual technology that was usually inverted. You would have to do the opposite. And all of these spirits can, and I believe are, being invoked by individuals who learn their name and learn how to call upon them. So the idea of them existing uh, doesn't make them evil. You attracting them is a warning to get your life right so that you don't produce the things that they feed upon. In this case, with the Apostle Paul, he was taking advantage of these spirits by binding them, calling upon them, and he was using them to hurt individuals. That's what you call blasphemy. So the Apolli traveled in packs, and you know this as well according to the scriptures where Jesus cast out the spirits out of the Gadarene man who was possessed by spirits. And when asked, the spirit spoke forth and said that their name was Legion, for we are many, we're not just one spirit. But in all of the traditions, they traveled in packs or what is known as a gang of spirits. Another common nightmare shade spirit that was known to be with Epilese was Phantus. Uh, it's where we get the word phantom, a phantom spirit, a spirit that is hiding within the shadows. Another member of their gang was Ichlios, and it translates to resembling, meaning it can resemble something else. Another one of the gang members or family members is Phobiter, and that's where we get the word phobia. Fear, phobias. Scripture says God did not give you a spirit of phobia. And many times they had a ring leader, and the leader of this game was none other than Morpheus. And Morpheus means to morph or change form and change shape. And so these spirits take shape to visit, to speak, to show up in a dream, in a nightmare. And many times people wake up and actually see these dark spirits in their room. They can look like a silhouette. They can look like what some people believe to be alien grays in these things. Also, they look like smoke and different types of gases and things like that that are hovering in your room. And people wake up and they're able to see this. These are just the Greek representations of the Orini dream nightmare spirits. But every religion have reports from antiquity to today, people encountering such beings. And the way and the reason that they move in a gang or a single unit is because they have a hierarchy. You have one at the top with many below it. This is also reiterated by Jesus when he talks about when an unclean spirit leaves an individual, if there's just one, that it goes out to dry places 
and it gathers seven stronger spirits than itself to come back and try to get within that individual again. And so we're supposed to have the house cleaned up and swept, but hey, there's nothing for you to hear. I'm actually a bad place to live. You don't want to live in me. Why? Because I'm full of light. There's not darkness in me. There's not any, any shadows. I live in the light. In other traditions, they're known as the jinn, skinwalkers. Uh, they're mentioned in Hebrew, Hindu. The Native Americans talk a lot about this. Uh, Akkadian, Babylonian, Egyptian, Sumerian. Anywhere you go, they have similar stories. And the only thing that has changed is the language.